Hello, back again. Um, been a while, but uh, life has been a bit of a catch up last couple of weeks um, doing things that I needed to do. So uh, this is my first opportunity. Um, you might think that I've been having a having a clear out of my uh, of my boxes and bins, but um, no, this is this is what we're going to work with today, or at least what I'm going to work with today. Um, I do keep all these little bits and pieces that are in my head far too good to throw away. Um, I kind of sometimes envy people that have uh, got the ability to say, no, that's rubbish, throw it away. But these things are my treasure. And today was a day when I just felt like sitting um, at my craft table and doing something that could go in my stash, as it were. So some mass makes, some using up some of the scraps. So I'm just going to have a quick look through here so that you can see what sorts of things I've got in here. There are things like this which is um, just a piece of brown card which has been punched out so just put that to one side for a minute might be using that in a second um, these things these butterflies these little butterflies not just for not from a die cut um, they're actually from you may recognize these these are um, the machine cut cupcake oh. Ooh. cupcake um, decorations and I picked up a whole load of these cheap at a, at a, a craft sale um, so I just use these to snip them out so I'm going to pop him to one side for a minute because I think he's rather nice um, what else I'm going to go with a brown theme I ten tend to focus a bit on brown themes um, let, oh there's a stamp that's handy that's nice and brown nice and brown stamp um what else shall we have i took we won't have brown lace because although i've got brown lace let's have a bit of uh, cream lace and we a bit of hessian because that's always lace and hessian sort of a contradiction one's quite rough and one's nice and delicate um and what, oh that now this this is lovely this is like a woven um, piece of grass sort of natural looking i'm not sure where I got it from but I have got a roll of that somewhere so let's stick with that um, I might come back to some of those things but uh, just to start off with let's just push, push those over to the side there and move those out of the way sorry if I've got arms and in the way so as I said I sat down today and I just did lots and lots of um, mindless stuff and I came up with these these little use up your scraps clusters I'm going to use them in a bigger project later on so um, I wanted to keep with a kind of theme and, and what I find brings everything together in this theme is if you have if you stay with a colour roughly a color palette and you also choose an element or two that is on everything and then it kind of looks like they're all meant to be plus they look super nice <laughs> all stacked up um, I happen to do these on um, round bits of card but there's no no rules really if you have um, like this one is a an off cut of a brown piece of card there's no reason why you can't use that so so these are what I'm going to have a go at and you can see why I picked out those those elements okay because they're what's they're the current theme the the little butterflies from that cupcake wrapper so the first thing I've got to show you is um, the, the circle of card and the obligatory fussing up of the edges with a bit of uh, 
ink and sometimes some of these things have been cut out to just cut the thing out um, and not to be used and so they haven't been edged to look, you know it's the other bit that's been grunged up so there we go I just like to spend some time just fiddling with these things and making them all a little bit again bringing them together in a sort of cohesive way oh I noticed that's a bit sparkly oh, I hadn't noticed that before must be the extra light that I put on to to do the video so those things there um, I tend not to grunge up those 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 bits that I've uh, other bits that I'm going to use but the plan is there is no plan really if anything what I would say is that because we're going to be taking this to the sewing machine and because you can see there is just one line of sewing down there is to try and think that that line of sewing is going to be your what attaches everything None, nothing is actually attached to the the body the disc other than where it's attached with the sewing okay so what I do I'm not going to get my sewing machine out um, to show you this is I just lay down the the base thinking that the butterfly is going to be the feature so we leave that till last and then I just put these things so that I know that they're going to catch when I sew sort of um, down the middle of the of the uh, the base card so maybe we'll put a bit of the hessian sticking up the top maybe the lace can go that side sticking out there like that and we put the the stamp on balance it a little bit with that circle down there and then pop the butterfly on and then this literally goes through the sewing machine and the the stitching will go down there and as you can see it's caught everything even a tiny bit of that it's caught that and let's go to the other side and you'll see deep down there it's caught the lace as well and that is really all you need oh time out i just knocked the uh, the lampshade so that's the basics the center line is where you're going to sew let's just tip that off and we can we'll come up with a completely different um design i'm sure so let's um let's do the uh do something slightly different we'll put the lace so that it hangs off the bottom and we'll put the the hessian so it's sticking out that side um, we'll have the stamp on next of course just because the stamp is the biggest thing it doesn't mean to say it has to be the feature why not cover it up you know cover most of it up um, as long as you're sticking to the that central line something that I try and avoid is I try and avoid <laughs> complete symmetry with you know popping that bang in the middle I will try and get that off to one side um, this I mean there's no saying I, I could actually pop that under there like that and then yeah trust me when it goes through the sewing machine it's fine and then pop the butterfly down there so even with those um, six elements on the base, endless, endless types of um, things you can do. Let's try, I mean, put the, put the stamp right at the bottom. Let's straighten him out again. Put him there. Put that down there. Have the lace there put your circle on and do that and really the possibilities for this 
are endless. So you might see with the, the ones that I'd finished, the ones that I've sewn, I, um, I've got some brads on there. This one's, and also <laughs> for any of you that do, um, you know, you have these little gems, you can stick those on afterwards. But you can see the idea is, is that the line of sewing goes down the middle of the back piece and just captures everything, which I think is uh, a good place to start with your circles. Now once, as I said, I showed you at the beginning, I've done um, odd shapes, but again the principle is pretty much the same, is to check your centre line where you're going to put your one row of stitching. And it doesn't matter actually if you don't, if you do, you know, you could do two lines of stitching. It doesn't matter. It's still a, a great cluster. Um, and if, it, if when you come to take it out of the sewing machine, it hasn't captured those bits, we've still got trusty glue. I noticed that this, somehow, this circle hadn't uh, captured. So I just stuck it on afterwards with a bit of glue. It doesn't really matter, does it? So those are the, that's the brown theme, and of course me being me, I did a green theme too. These ones are based on a on a longer, because they're going to go into a, a different project that has more height, so I wanted some longer elements. So again, I did the same thing, I went into my box of um, scraps and um, cut a little baseboard. I mean this one, this one I used, actually ended up using the baseboard as part of the the top rather than the bottom, but there's the greens, yeah and I didn't stop there, I also went a sort of um, burnt orangey colour, these ones are incredibly random and not very um, centered but you know they they're going to work somewhere they can go um across a page across the top of a page down the side um, you know you can put them on a tag and i also find that i get to use things that i i don't normally use so these um paper flowers I mean, here's a good case in point with not catching. This didn't catch under there, did it? So it could become, it could make that element longer because it was meant to be caught under there. But yeah, um, and of course, um, there's also the blue bundle. So these were Done with blue. It's actually a sort of a very lovely blue. This this lace. I I don't. I think I, t I think I dyed it with some um, with some brush o paint. And the other thing that's in there is <laughs> when you when I've ripped up a book. So this is the this is the spine of a book that I took the pages out of. And and I find that this cloth is absolutely super for going on this sort of thing, adding a little bit of um, extra texture. So that's off um, a book. And there's, look, there's the book head. Uh, it's heading tape from the, from the spine. Yeah, I use things that I glean from the books as well. Oh, there's a couple of bits of um, where I'd cut some felt and with some pinking shears. Oh yeah. When you lace doily when your doily splits, when you this is what I was doing yesterday because it was such a lovely sunny day. I was um I was tea dyeing stuff and this got damaged in the drying process. 
but it didn't go to waste because I used it in various places on these clusters. Well, so from the blue team, the orange team, the green team, and the brown team, let's uh, leave it there, shall we? I hope you've um, been inspired a little bit to, um, oh my goodness, I've just realised I've probably inspired you to hoard your scraps, but a lot of us crafters um, keep our scraps anyway, so I'm probably not telling you to do something you don't already do. Um, so yeah, I hope, hope that's been of some inspiration, hope you've enjoyed um, looking at it and listening to me whitter on about my junk, and um, I'll catch up with you again as soon as I can. Okay, bye!